Good morning. Oh, share your screen with your audience. It's a new option now. Whoa, that's so cool. We can do so much more. Oh, I'm so excited for this. There's a new feature that was added to our live streams. What's that? Share. Um, you know how like it's something that we need stream oh, oh, for. We oh. need to one of the or OBS. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now we can share our screen. So whenever we're trying to show people something, we can just pull it up and share the screen with them. That's so cool. Awesome. That's one reason I've been wanting to get OBS or yeah, something like that. Just start streaming through one of those third parties. Wow. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining what? us. Where's the... Let's see where... Um, can you guys see? I saw that Amber was with us. Uh, hi, Amber. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I meant to send you tracking numbers. I'm so sorry. Um, I have them in my pocket. Wait, no, they're not in my pocket anymore. Oh, no. oh my gosh. <laughs> I am going to lose my mind. Oh, right there. Right there. Right. Hi. Okay, so if you did not see, oh, I should have linked it in the description. I was gonna say, if you did not catch the trailer video for this morning, um, I'm still, actually, I've still got the other one that I'm probably gonna put up as a regular video. Um, but um, the trailer video, um, oh, I didn't take my meds through. <laughs> um, what? The I didn't take my meds. Um, the trailer video was super, super cute. So I put it on the kitty stream and the stream. Um, it's kind of boring in the beginning. The cats don't do much. But then Pandora's attention gets taken to Mona's tail. And she starts stalking Mona's tail. And it was really, really funny. Um, and so if you watch through to the end, it, um, it even kind of overlapped into my our shout out to our channel members. Um, but it was it was really cute. So if you um, didn't get a chance to see it, I do recommend you go and watch it. Only like a minute fifty three seconds, so um, you can um, just take a couple minutes and even fast forward to the um, the end. There, it is really cute. Um, but it was the first time we brought the laser light for the kitties. Um, so we started these guys first because um, the cats are outside hunting. Yeah, so there's not much to look at in there. Not much to talk about. Myra's belly is swelling. Um, and it looks like she is starting to finish her heat cycle. She's not nearly as like engorged and muscular. She doesn't have we like we call it a sleeve because when they're most um when they're most fertile, it um they're it's kind of like they're um they don't have much room for the male to go. And so when they become fertile, it's like they kind of artificially, it swells in order to give the space. Um, but it's kind of like external. And so Drew and I call it a sleeve because it kind of just hangs. It's kind of gross, so I'll talk much more about it. But hers is kind of going away now. So um, her heat cycle is wrapping up. Um, we were going to get one more round of macchiato in. Um, she might not be um, interested anymore. So we'll see. If, if she's interested, we'll let them have another go at it. Um, but she's definitely, um, she definitely passed the prime part. Um, but I, I have tracking. I have tracking for Shelly and Amber. Um, Shelly's, I'm sorry, Amber's is going to be delivered tomorrow, so far, um, and Shelly's should be delivered, ooh, I think Shelly's going to be delivered today. Today is the first, right? Yep, Shelly should be delivered today. So, um, I will, um, text those tracking numbers to you so you guys have them to double check. Um. So Myra, Myra is our next mama dog. We're really excited. She was such a good mama dog for her first litter. Um, and she was so good with having Daisy as a nanny. And I'm sure all these, oops, all these mamas are going to be looking for a litter of puppies to love on. Um, they're, um, 
they're kind of of the it takes a village mentality. So um, most of them anyway like to help raise puppies, but we're excited for a Myra and Macchiato litter. Um, and I'm still working. I still have families that I'm working on getting back to. Um, like I've been saying the last couple of days, I just want to be able to give you guys meaningful responses, um, especially when you guys have questions about um, ESAs and kind of how they the benefit to an ESA versus just getting a family dog. Um, hey. It's, it's, it's all right. Um, it was just... This is another good example of Missy. Um, the, so those those are the kinds of things that we don't interfere with because, you know, if we scold Missy, um, when she's just trying to communicate to Mocha, you know, how is she going to communicate? Um, the only way they know how to communicate, like negatively to say no to something, is by like a gentle snap or a gentle growl. Um, and that's exactly what she did. And, um, you know, when I was growing up, I, um, I did, we didn't, my family didn't, um, when we just had like our family dogs when I was young, young, we didn't pay as much attention to their behavior like that. And, um, you know, I look at it now and think about like, you know, as people, if we could not express, you know, how we want to say no, like, what would we do? Um, and so they can't talk. All they have is like noises and body language to work with. Um, but the dogs, they really self-manage and um, they do a really good job of it. And with Missy being an alpha dog, we want to, um, especially with this many dogs, um, we really want to encourage them to be able to work their problems out together. Um, because if they, the ones that are simple, like, you know, Mocha come in to take her toy, um, you know, in their dog world, Mocha has no rights to the toy. Missy has had the toy. She's alpha dog. She gets any toy she wants. If, if she wants it, she gets it. Um, and while that's not how we would raise our children, they're also not children. Um, and they just don't live in a system where everything must be shared equally. Um, and so, you know, we can give, we got a ton, tons of toys that Mocha can have. It's not like Missy's got the only toy that there is. Here, Mocha. And Mocha also gets to sleep in bed with us, and Missy does not, yes. which is another big thing. <laughs> but it's kind of, it's just always been like that for a long time, starting with Daisy. So um, I think Missy is just okay with, <laughs> I think, she, if anything, she actually likes being where um, she's kind of in the center of the house. You know, the boys are over there. She's with a bulk of the moms, and... Um, you know, Paris is off over there, Mocha and Daisy over there. And so she's kind of like central. Um, and so I think she actually prefers to be here in the laundry room at the end of the night. Um, if you, if you're one of the people who is on at the very end of the night, probably not lately with how blurry our cameras been, by the way, if that happens, we're, um, I think it's the cord. Um, so I had a different cord that I thought I was going to be able to use this morning. And it turns out it was much shorter than I thought it was. So, but we did find the problem with why the stream turns blurry. So, um, Drew did a bit of a band-aid job for us <laughs> for today. Um, and we'll be getting a cord in the meantime. But, um, so anyway. Uh, the moms, as they approach heat and while they are in heat, are super, super, duper friendly and affectionate um we usually only have like one or two in heat at a time and so there's one or two that are seeking all this extra attention um we don't usually have four or five at a time which is what it's looking like it's gonna be so it's probably gonna be a lot of um a lot of dogs wanting attention but um i hope you guys are doing well um it's beautiful outside here you'll have to let us know how your weather is because it's really nice um I think we have a high today in the 60s, but I didn't see that. That's what I heard. So, um, the high today. Uh, it's like high is gonna be like 56 today. Ooh. Hi there, Letty. Hi, Sue. Hi, Amber. Hi there, Amanda. I'm gonna try to get rid of this glare. Is it glare or is it? Let's see. Is it glare or fog or like? Let me get um. Do you have Windex in there? What's up? Do you have Windex in there? If not, I'll go get some alcohol. 
Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, that's better. Fuzzy, but for a completely correctable reason. All right, you guys are good doggies. Yes, you are. Oh, Missy. Um, hi. Oh, what did I want to talk about? There's something I wanted to talk about today. Um, mentioned the video, the cast chase and the laser light. I was. Uh, I hope. I hope you guys watched that. That was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> the cats are. The cats are doing really well. They're. Um, they're all going into heat. They're all going into their first heat. So that's been fun. Um, <laughs> Bella's got library day today, every two weeks. And so um, we forgot to read her book a couple weeks ago for her. When she comes home from school, I pull her book out and we read it together. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. and she told me it was about cats and I felt terrible. And so she's going to go check out cats again today. And so we're going to learn about cats. Um, but we, uh, we don't know a whole lot about cats, and um, so we're kind of, we're really just like learning by the seat of our pants. Um, um, you know, there's like, we know the basic stuff, but um, I grew up with dogs, and we just dog everything. Um, we were like team dog. But, um, oh, I wanted to go see who else was on, and then I got distracted by the lens. Hold on. Mama, mama. I start. Her belly is doing what it did her first pregnancy. Remember how she just like started growing immediately? Yeah. Yeah, that's what she's doing. She's growing already. And she's already got like a firm little, firm little bump. a firm round little belly bump. <laughs> yeah. Like it's still there when she's on her back. Hey there, Beth. How are you doing? Oh, you've got your granddaughter. I hope Piper's feeling better. Who else we got? I think I got everybody, so if I missed anyone, I'm really sorry. Um, welcome to any of our any of our newer viewers. We've um, noticed an uptick in um new viewers and so we just wanted to welcome you all and kind of realize that Drew and I never introduce ourselves or <laughs> we just kind of turn on the camera and start going um and so but he's Drew I'm Elizabeth hello and these are all of our not all but um a lot of our mama dogs most of them but yeah I think it's all of our mama dogs Daisy in here so she was yeah all the Daisy we got all the Daisy all the Daisy Doodle Daisy Doodle Doodle um, when we were at the doctor's office this morning, I mentioned that we had a litter on the way, and um, and she was like, "Oh, is it that one that likes to have babies all the time?" <laughs> and I, was, I didn't know what she was talking about at first, and then I was like, "Oh, we're talking about Daisy." Doesn't everybody know that Daisy's the one that just loves, to loves have babies? having puppies? Love. I told her about how Pom Pom was backing her butt up to the door where the boys are, and she was like, "I didn't know that girl dogs do that." <laughs> well, neither did we. <laughs> Loves to be pregnant. Hi, Mocha Schmoka. Mocha is another She's. I'm so excited for Mocha to be a mom. We, um, we, we kept have, the right puppy. We're going to have to get a boy dog. Let's like a roo. I know. I know. I'd really rather not use Spike and just plunge forward. Oh, man. Hi, hi, Ron. Hi, sweetie. Are you already getting lovey? Uh, Come here. Come here, love. Hi, love. Mom. Hello, love. Hello, love. <laughs> How are you, love? Hi. Sit the door. What is the door? You're such a good girl. Yes, I love you. I love you. 
a lot. Pom um, loves to use her vocals. <laughs> You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. <laughs> she just wants like full body massages all the time. <laughs> You're such a good girl. You are. You are. You are. <laughs> yes, you're such a good girl. You're a good girl. You are, you are. You are. You are. You're a good girl. Um, what other updates? What do we want to talk about? Kids aren't home for an hour and a half, so we can say wait, anything wait. that the kids. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't want the kids to hear. It can all be said now. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find something. No, you're fine. I'm um, just enjoying the palm. I used to have this. I had, there's two things that were meant for uh, drilling holes for um, the poles and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Because the two. Yeah. Should we replace our, our knobbies? And they're so pretty. <laughs> you're quite happy with them. Please. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the poles, but they're there, the, the handles. Um, oh, we still got to break down the pen because I want just a couple months of our front door without a pen. Oh, right. With that beautiful rug. You are right. Oh, you are so sweet. Hi, Paris. You're waiting so patiently. So politely. Oh, my goodness. You're so sweet. Yesterday, Missy was doing what Paris is doing now. And she was just sitting right there, just wanted to be pet. And nothing more. She just wanted to be pet. And all the other dogs were just like climbing over her, jumping over her, trying to get to me. And so I was trying to just like get them away so that Missy could be rewarded. Hey, like, Paris, you're such a good girl. Are you doing for your coffee? Sorry. No, sorry. no, I'm glad that you finished it. I'm glad that you're able to finish it. Harris is not a mama dog anymore, except to be Anna. <laughs> Anna. It's kind of nice though. Harris isn't going to have any more puppies. We have puppies of hers. I hope, that, I hope that Vienna gets big enough that she can have some puppies. I don't think that's going to happen. So then Harris can become a uh, grandmother. She's going to be a grandmother. Oh, Rio. yeah. Rio. I think Vienna is... I just don't think it's going to work. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I think I'd be more comfortable just calling it and instead of letting her grow like a little bit, then get pregnant and be worried and panicked the whole time that she's going to struggle with delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine something bad happening? Oh my god, I know. Oh, I don't want to think about it. That's why I just feel better about just being safe. Just Bye, to be Reed. safe. Safe. We have to protect this ESA. Yes, we do. We have to protect you from yourself. She is such a wonderful little ESA dog for Belle. She's perfect for a little kid, too. Um, and something that can be a little tricky when picking a dog as a puppy. Um, I think the little advantage we had was that Vienna was born here. And so from the time that she was a week old, she was being held and handled by Bella. And so, I mean, all she ever is known is a world where um, the giant known as Bella comes and manhandles her. And... Um, when I went into Bella's room last night, Spike, Spike, lay down. 
when I went into Bella's room last night to tuck her in, Vienna, she was laying underneath the blankets with her head out, not like Daisy, where Daisy just like dives down under. Um, and I had to cover Bella up and so I had to take some of the blanket from Vienna. And Vienna got like shot up and looked like, what are you doing? And so I pulled another blanket over to cover Vienna up and then she laid back down and got cozy up against Bella. And it was just the sweetest thing. I stood back and just admired how, you know, we have this precious six-year-old daughter and this um, tiny little cavalier that is sitting like at her feet to protect her. I read um, about the dogs. Um, there's Robin keeping Myra clean. Um, when the dogs are sleeping, like kind of by your feet, especially at night, they're prote being protective of you. And we've noticed that Vienna has made like a little spot for herself at the very, well, not the very end of Belle's bed, but like at the very end of where she sleeps. And so she doesn't really sleep like in the corner of the bed and she sleeps kind of like in the middle where Bella's feet are. Um, and I took a picture because Bella rolled over and like kicked Vienna in the head. And so Vienna, she didn't even move. She just like kind of lowered her head and got comfortable with it there and then just let Bella's foot continue to sit there. And she's just so wonderful. She is such a good dog for a six-year-old. She can really tackle, um, or she can cope with, you know, whatever a six-year-old brings. All the excitement, um, the loud noise, and, you know, Bella's a loud kid in general. Um, and Vienna's just, we were, we were worried that, um, not specifically because of Bella, but just that, um, uh, Remy, Remy, that's good. Um, we were just kind of nervous that when we want her to be an ESA dog, we want her to be therapeutic in nature, that having Bella may handle her all the time was not really working in that direction. <laughs> um, but I think it actually kind of had that, that it had the sort of effect that we were hoping for, where, um, it just kind of got Vienna used to it. And um, I mean, it's almost like Vienna expects that. And she, like when Bella gets home, we can tell that the kids are getting coming home soon because if they get home at like 2.35, at about 2.30, Vienna starts losing her mind. And so she's becoming our alarm clock for the kids coming off the bus. And um, she's also Bella's little bedtime alarm clock because she, when, um, we have like, we, the kids have like an hour, we have their bedtimes and then like one hour prior to that is like a, a calm down period where everybody kind of goes to their rooms and starts winding down. You know, they can watch TV, they can play on their phones or devices, but they, everybody needs to be like getting dressed, brushing teeth, you know, all that sort of thing. And um, so Bella's with her bedtime being 8.30, 8.30, 9 o'clock, um, she goes up to her room between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. And Vienna will make sure we all know that Bella's running late for bed because Vienna, I think she's really ready to get out of the kitchen and um, go up to her fancy digs in Bella's fluffy bed. Um, she just, she fits in so perfectly with Bella. And, you know, as Bella gets bigger and starts having, you know, the natural issues that come with growing up, when she has a little dog that she's, you know, hopefully by that point, it's, you know, been since as long as she can remember. Um, and so I think it's going to be really helpful for Bella. Um, and that's why I like Vienna. If she can't have puppies, we cares. She's such like she, her value as an ESA for Bella is enormous. And, um, you know, we just, we don't, we don't have puppies just to have puppies. Um, you know, we want, we have a goal in mind with each litter and we don't want to just breed her just, just cause she's a female. You know, you know what we do. No, no, I can't. You'll make a good nanny. Yeah, you'll make a good nanny. You already do. But Bella is so proud because she, she's also been really good in the morning about um, bringing Vienna in here. Um, before coming into our room to get ready for school. And so she's really proud of that. And um, the last couple of days I've been talking about how ESAs kind of differ from 
family dog in that way because Bella has to be responsible for her. And even though she's only six, she's she's got a pellet tray up in her room and you know pooped one side out uh, one side one time outside her bedroom door, like in the hallway, and Bella came downstairs and she said that um yeah, uh, she Joyce says it in a way where she's still about to tell a joke and then we find out she pooped. And um, but she did it in the same sort of way as her, like, oh gosh, okay. And um, she was like, Well, you don't need to clean it up because I did. And so we're just we're so proud of her. Um she's doing these little um you know chores to take care of her dog. Um and she has so much pride in the fact that she is big enough to do all that without um without having to ask. Um It's just such a, it's such, it's very underrated um, having a dog of your own when you're a child, um, just because it really helps instill that sense of responsibility. Um, Bella's not going to come, like, you know, if we say, okay, you don't want to pick up our poop, you know, you're her, you're her mom, Bella. You know, who else is, who cleaned up your poop when you were a baby? Um, and so it just, she really, it helps her understand that Vienna relies on her and is dependent on her. And um, like, you know, it's up to her. If Vienna has, if Vienna needs something in the middle of the night, you know, it's not us that's there, it's Bella. And so she, um, Bella's doing really, really well with, keeping up with the responsibilities of a dog. She can put her outside, she can bring her inside, she can, we can send her to go find Vienna. She runs off and she comes run back with Vienna. Um, and it's sweet because it goes both ways. It's not like Bella is a six year old who um, has to chase her dog to get her to spend time with her. Um, Vienna's always working for her to go to her. And so, um, and it wasn't always that way, which is why we were kind of worried for a little bit there because it seemed like Vienna was not real wild about how much Bella manhandled her, but, um, she must've gotten used to it because, um, I'm sorry, did I make your ear itch? I'm sorry. But it's been, it has been just really incredible to see Bella's growth. Here I am trying to talk seriously and the dogs. Um, what Myra's doing with her tail right now is called flagging. Um, when they're in heat, they'll hold their tail up and it has a couple of purposes. Um, when she's pulling it like to the side right then, it's because like when they mate, they need to pull it to the side in order for things to happen. Um, but like before baiting, they'll hold their tail up and you know, with the with the with their feathering, they'll kind of wave it back and forth, and it's, it spreads their pheromones, and so that's what that's all about, and it's called flagging. Um, and it's kind of it's just like a, a reflex, and so when Robin goes and cleans her, she's gonna start flagging. <laughs> Remy, what are you eating? Remy, what are you eating? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Got a piece of a the squeaker. There's the squeaker, Paris. Thank you. Wait, wait, where's the squeaker? Ready? Good girl. Hi, dogs. Sorry, no, no, no. Hi, sweetie. Oh, I need to start the kitty cat stream. Start the kitty cat stream. I know you don't want that in your eye. It's gonna hurt. It is gonna hurt for them to have fur in their eyes. Don't you think? Oh, I'm gonna push that out. <laughs> you were so sweet. Are you sure just a sweet thing, huh? You're such a good messy dog. 
You are a good leader, Missy. Yes, you're a good leader. Yes, you're a good girl. Mocha's fur is starting to, um, she's starting to lose that puppy softness and she's starting to get that. Um, it's not rough. It's just like, it feels like it's more made to like repel rain and stuff. You got like a little extra layer of something on here. That means you hold back on your food for a bit. She's like holding Missy's face with her paws. <laughs> Missy's face is soaking wet. Can I see this bath you've given Missy? <laughs> Show you guys. Missy's soaking wet face. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Mocha's going to get you all clean. You are such good doggies. I'm going to go turn on the kitty cat stream. I've got to do the math um, in my planner. Got some text to respond to about litters and um, once we have Myra's litter, um, it's gonna be real busy because our moms that are on break now are probably, they're all gonna be ready for their next litters. And so that's, we're looking at, um, it'll be Pom, Pom, Missy, Remy, Robin, Pom, Missy, Remy, Robin, that everybody? Pom, Missy, Remy, Robin, is that going to be our next litter is that for Myra? Uh, that's all. I think it is, yeah. Hi. Uh, we only have five moms. Five moms? Yeah. Oh, we have seven. Vice Paris of Spain. And then, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I'm just I'm calling, I'm calling Vienna mm -hmm. and, and Paris the ones that we cannot breed. Uh, so we got Mocha coming up. Mocha is coming up. Yes, she was. She get another female. So if Vienna can't, Daisy Anna can't be a mommy. Where's Daisy? She's not in here. Daisy, what are you doing out there? Oh, good dog. He's using the tray. Excuse me. Excuse me. I gotta get the puppy string. Puppy string. Dang, why are you have sandbars? Huh? Why do you have sandbars? Because no. Maybe it's here. Um, no. Well, yeah, that, but we're not going to breed her.
Dogs.
use the ones.
Thank you. 
Oh, this one. Wait. 
Did you check did you check Monty out? No. I had him pretty good on the web.
What are you chewing? Oh. 
ice cube. Can I help you? There's nothing I can do for you. Mm -hmm. Hush.
No!
Ah,
Look at these happy doggies. They're such happy dogs. Oh, here he is. Look at her, right? He's just like, I can't. She can't jump fast enough. Get my belly, get my belly, get my belly. Oh, hi, Harris. I'm sorry. Hi, Harris. You are such good doggies. I love you, Harris. Like, Mama, Mama, when are you going to start taking me to school? I'm gonna get you guys to your next vet appointment. Probably take them like three at a time, maybe. Or four appointments. What's that? Oh, Seeing about their next vet appointment, uh -oh. going, um, taking three at a time. Oh my four gosh. Three dogs, four did points. you just see what Paris did? No. She didn't walk like over here. Oh yeah, she just she, walked over everybody. She pushed my leg oh. forward so that you, she could go through. She pushed it forward with her nose. You are so funny. You are so beautiful. You have the prettiest face in the world. You do. You have a face. I know, Robin. You have a pretty face too. But you have kind of a very typical cavalier face. Paris has a very unique face. That's unique? I thought that was standard. Robin is pretty standard. Robin and you know, Robin, Myra's got a very standard face too for her tricolor. Yeah. Tricolors usually have the, the color across their face for the most yeah. part. I like how Paris has like an opposite thumbprint. Yeah. <laughs> She's got that white dot. I found this unwinded paper clip at school. Ben. Oh, I took I took a test, a writing test today. Oh, our our test for science is actually Monday because he made a mistake. He thought that we both the classes were like on track, oh. but our class is actually a oh, class period behind the door. So it's Monday. Um but we took a writing test today and it was based on a prompt and we had one minute to think about it and three minutes to write. I only got four lines done. And it was the very start, so she couldn't even see what my writing was about. So it's probably going to be uh, scored worse because the beginning is kind of busy. I was hungry, so I'm going to give her a piece of my It doesn't take up much room in the belly. It satisfies the belly. It's like, is that good? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I must have missed That's all right. Um, I'm just going to bring Bella you can find the foot she is complaining about hunger. I was going to get us to her earlier and that she was going to have her leftovers. And so this is just what I was going to give her earlier, um, but it doesn't take up much room. I'm just planning on doing leftovers for today. Okay. So. Well, I'm just going to clean up and get us to her. Do you, do you want to uh, move for I don't think the kids are going to want um, manwich. So. No, not manwich. Oh. Uh, we got a little bit of the papaya. papaya left. Ooh. Uh, Bella with me. I'm Bella with that. Bella probably won't eat that. Um, do you, do you, is your scalp itchy? It was itchy. Oh, because, um, because when you scratched your, um, yeah, I know, I know. It's like my skin's dry. Uh, do you, you want some asparagus, baby? Um, yeah. Well, how are you gonna cook it? I'm gonna steam it. Steam it and salt it. In the air fryer or the oven. It was really yummy when you put it in the oven and you baked it and you put salt on it and it was like crunchy. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. I love you, mom. Oh, she's sweet. I, oh, 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 oh. You laid I them out on foil. I sauteed them. I put them in a skillet with butter. Once. No, that wasn't it, no. though. They'd be soft and soggy. You laid it, because it was like, it was like one of the first few times you cooked asparagus, and you're like, I don't know how to do this. And I was like, I think it's delicious. Oh, maybe there was a time that I put it in, like, wrapped it up in tin foil. Yeah. And then just baked it. 
You don't want me to steam it and just leave them crunchy and then put salt all over them? Well, that, that sort of crunchy is uncooked crunchy. That's raw crunchy. I mean, uh, oh. I mean like cooked crunchy. Oh, okay. Right. Um, you. But you could try just the saute. Um, that's why I gotta make them soggy. Well, but like they're still good soggy, but steaming is, um, I think that it makes them too soggy. It, like, yeah. The saute might actually be the solution to make them like full and juicy. Okay, okay. All right, then. Do that. Some broccoli. I'll steam some broccoli because I know Brian and Bella like that. Yeah. Thank you. I love doing that's a little bit more work than steaming. Yeah. yeah. Love you. Thank you.
Hey, May. Your dog was upstairs, so or she didn't do anything. Sit. Then Mia was upstairs, but she didn't. Oh. Uh, no, I'm coming up here. Dad, it's dinner. Are you hungry, Baba? Yeah. Yeah, I'll make dinner. No, 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 I don't want dinner. What's this? I can use this for dusty. Then I can use this for dusty. I can use this for dusty. No. No. Okay. Oh, so that's kind of that's normal.
Her so well. I know if it's her running with me. Is this a heavy one or is this the light one? Because it seems like a mix between the two. My my green one is so much heavier than this. That is so Oh, Paris! Love you so much. Yeah, then I just came out of the wash. So. Okay. Thank you. Why is there a pregnancy test? Um. Let me see. 
recognize the this one is not Bellows. I think this one is yours. Yeah, because Bradley's was taped because you were holding it. I think it was all Oh, but you look so nice in your hoodie too. It may at worst the large might look on you kind of like Bradley's look on him and Bradley's look great. You would have your baggy hoodie. But I think that that would be more like an extra large. Um, I'm going to take out how, how I feel. Mm, that's fine. I guess. All right, good check. Dear mommy, thanks for taking good care of me. See you in six months. Always love baby. This is Bradley. Is it Bradley? Yeah, it's, oh, it's more of a boy part. I would say I think I got that at um in Ottawa. Oh, I still said it. Mom, is my legs on my feet are too long? You're too long? I know this part is very cheesy, Oh, I see. You still like it? I love, I love Don. I love you. What's that? It was Oh my god. Oh my god. I know. That was that a month that she was born. I was thinking like of Abby 18 to her birth year, like thinking about what class your kid is gonna be in 2028. So far in the future. It's so futurist. Dad, did you make this for mom on Valentine's Day? Oh what? Well, because ouch. I I mean I'm sure. No, 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 because it says hold on. Let me read it. I love you. <laughs> yeah, this is I wrote this for mom. Oh, that you're showing him the the baby one. Oh, no. She's got the ultrasound one. Oh no, she just showed me this one. Oh, yes, yeah. but that one I know that I made that one for you. For Bradley. Uh, I don't know if it was from Bradley. Yeah, it was a Bradley. It's, but if it was supposed to be from Bradley or what? Been, that was ten years ago. But. So, uh, I'm trying to push it around the door. Hello, sorry, Lou. Hey, what do you want to eat? Some broccoli and then like a big sandwich. Sorry, I don't mean to be sweeping through your stuff. It's just interesting to see your past, you know what I mean? Your past, like, stuff. That is. Okay. Oh, you guys got a little leftover. Um, yeah, what? No, man, I just got the word. Oh, that's you. That's me. That's you. You guys look at that. I know. I was not sure. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. How are you? That pregnant is that photo. You can see my hand. I know. You can see all your fingers. I know. My head, my ears, my nose. nose, I know. Isn't that cool? I want to say. Oh, hey, Bradley, would you want the, some of the spaghetti? Oh, yeah. Pasta? 
August 20th, 
ultrasound picture that I've ever gotten of any of each other. So it's so easy to see. It's easy to see. It's a great photo. Like other things that you can see in an ultrasound, it's a great shot because it's not like, you know, basically, however far they took a probe. Yeah, they can overshoot it, they can undershoot it. <laughs> so they have to go in like, just the right amount. Um, at this, at this stage, they can't do the ultrasound over the belly. They have to like, put it inside. I didn't know that! Yeah, it's, wow. a, little, it's, it's a little weird because the lady's like, here, you can put it in for me. And then she takes Mom. it from you after you eat some like, What? You're so gross! <laughs> that, that's it's medical. It is medical. <laughs> In fact, if anything, your body looks. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, like, it's a psychological stuff. Like, you, like, things come <laughs> But, um, usually the pictures aren't this clear. Like, I have some alien looking pictures from, like, well, you can see, like, eye sockets. You can see eyes and stuff. Why is it? Because of that reason, because it's going, you know, it's a cross section basically of you. So if it was I'm taking a slice, like yeah, if it's like a picture was taken down the middle of your head here from well, the side. But yeah, I know that. But why is it like going because, right here? Because your brain was developing. I mean, I was on twelve weeks. Twelve weeks brain, so crazy. Like you can see your right there. Yeah. yeah. Like you can even see where the baby fat is. Here, here. It looks a little low because you're gonna start low. Here? Yeah, that's right here. That looks weird. Mm -hmm. Let me see all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember people, I don't know, I showed the picture up from here, and also from here, and um, she was making jokes about. Um, how muscular you were because you were like so jacked. Were you guys friends? Were you guys friends when I was born? It was like an on-off thing. You were you were when he like knocked into my belly really hard and got out of the hospital. Um, I was crying a lot that night. You were. But you were the flower girl on your wedding. No. Oh, no. Oh. Um, uh, it, was, it was their wedding that like we hung out at. And it was, it was, um, their son. I think it was up in the room. And I was Maybe then when I came over. Maybe then. Excuse me. I got it. But it's called trauma between everybody that I guess is not here. Well, it's also those. You know. Those things where it's like, you know, it's just showing off and saying, hey, I need to look at my school. Excuse me, Mary. I wonder if.
Um, I'm a young flower girl at, oh, we've got the photo in our closet. I moved late. At um, a friend of me and your dad's. It was so the wedding took place like six weeks at home split. And so.
Bradley phenomenon continues. What do you mean? Not yet. 
Where am I playing? Who is that and how old is he? That's Carter. Yeah, it is Carter. Yeah. How Where old is, is he? my play? Or this is here, so. This is my play. No, that's not, though. That's Bradley's. Hold on. My play. Um, he's got to be. I got my play. So. Oops, he would be behind the thing, so. <laughs> I'm looking at him. It's not, the, um, it's not a quiz. Um, well, I, I would say 2019. Yes, my name. Oh, shit. Um, but as yes, me and I were looking yeah. at it, we were like, I kind of paused for a second because it was Bradley next to him. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Can I say, can I say, can I say? Can I say? Doesn't Carter just look like an old time Bradley standing right next to him? He does, yeah. He is right. He looks like Bradley does now. Yeah. He's just got a bit longer of face. You want to see May? I can't believe how much she's grown up in this house. I can't believe she remembers Otto. Why? I'm like, oh my god! I know. Oh, she looks so little. I know. That's so weird. I mean, it's my yeah. Wait, can dogs have asparagus? No, 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 no. I no. think I think they can. I think I have broccoli. That has asparagus. Drop it. Let me Google it real quick. Yeah, Google it. Hold on, hold on, don't, don't say no yet. Okay. It, it is, it, in summary, it is safe for dogs to eat asparagus. Oh. Can be tough to chew, to chew if uh, raw or undercooked. Yeah, they can have All right. All right, Bella, you want some more asparagus? Did you give it back to Paris? I did, I never took it away from her. Thank you. Yeah. All right, here's this, Bella Sean. You want some broccoli too, Goose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom. Yeah. I don't know if they do it now, but I think they do it on Sip Days, but they do it on Sip Days, but that would be nice because my birthday is on a Sip Day, so it doesn't get announced to the entire school. Dad. Dad. Hi. Uh, Good. Why would I, I don't know, those are what was the worst. Here. Well, what, what do you do? Um, I'm Can I just take some broccoli? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you lots of broccoli. No, 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 it's hot, baby. Can I have the asparagus? I'm going to put salt on can it. I, it? I got the asparagus right here for you, Bella Bella. Can you go, hey, can you guys clear off the table, please? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's my asparagus? The fabric is a little bit different. So, oh. dark grays. Dark grades are like All right, Bella Sean. Like something all different. But right, the waste. Greens. Green. Like Green. Green. Like Green. This is Bella's plate. Uh, so Come on, Bella. Hey, here, take this and go put it at your place. Hey. No. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought you there. So okay, I'll stand. Here, Bella. Take old soda. Coda. Hey, Velma. You mind? Do you call a brown boy? Um. Nate, hey, do you want some broccoli? No. Uh, Mom, do you want broccoli? Yes, please. Um. Small voice to me in the pants. Broccoli smells like Grandma Sandy's and Tractor's Hotel Pool. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one, Bella. Um, I I remember when we went to go get my physical or 
And I thought it was so cool that I was you. Man, do you want any vegetables? What if we just do it physically? Because I can. All I have to do is. Bradley, Bradley, there's more broccoli growing on the big broccoli. Hey, there's a tree of broccoli growing on a tree. Hey, your food's there, baby, on the table. And it actually uh, increased the risk of 
failure of them if you're like piling them on top of them. So, did you want broccoli? Yes, please. I'm sorry, did you say that food is on the food is on the great. Thank you. Oh. Hey, do you want great? Salt. Oh, yeah, I can see why because they're stretching because they're so piled on. Yeah, it's great. May, come sit me. Uh, would you mind grabbing me a uh, karma, please? Is it my book, No. About 100 million of them. Thank you. 
I'm not changing about this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Tokyo's on the city, Bradley. Or Tokyo's on the coast. Not 
No, it's like it's it's like in the middle kind of. Is it? So Tokyo is like in the middle kind of middle coast. Tokyo. It's like right. Um, Tokyo. I'm gonna take a vote for ice cream. I'm not quite sure what we have is what flavor that we have. Can we get some ice cream? So I know we don't have to read it. Um, so. Hold on, Bella Bell. Slow down. Mom's gonna get it. No, Bella, not mom's gonna get it. You go sit your booty down. Yo, rude. Yo, rude. No, you're No, it wasn't an ice cream oh, shop. It was like a no, it's not me did not go to ice cream shop. Really? Really, that was uncalled for. May um it's a long story, but Dad and I were we're planning on something taking you to the truck stop. Don't worry. It's something we got, we've been talking about. It was like a last minute thing. Um, and it wasn't, don't worry, it was not. It was not. in the middle or you want uh, hand, hand, hand. before you start talking. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. All shot. Hey Dad, I can tell you um the whole map. Not like country not like towns and stuff, not like states, but I can tell you countries. Like can you tell me the continents? Yeah. Huh? What are the continents? Come to the map. Where are you uh Come with me! Can you open this for me, please? Can you open that for me, please? Oh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah! Thank you! You're welcome! <laughs> I thought
Christmas. Like, right after Christmas, like it doesn't stop like um, Christmas. Um, and then March comes around. Yeah. Getting, I'm getting. Most of them. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Very little. Oh. Listen, if it didn't, like, if the efficiency wasn't like pennies on the dollar for like searching for gifts right. in that regard. Yeah. Bradley, did you mean to fill this up? Did you mean to put ice in here? Would you like your mama to put ice in here for you? No, it's fine. What? It's fine. Oh! oh. Stay like that since last night. Or your mama will fill it up. That's water. Can I dip up? This looks so nice. Can I dip up? I like how the sleeves kind of do this. Can you guys come out here? I'm going to get some Coming, coming. I'm having some cookies. What's my eyes? Have you already had a package today? Nope. Stop. 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 Bella, did you eat your uh, Rice Krispie treat today? What? The Rice Krispie treat that I gave you. And your lunch. I didn't even see it. My dad watched. Oh, I didn't. No, I'm sorry. I gave you many muffins. Yum. Yum, yum. Yummy. Oh, no, no, no. Red is the We have that giant jar of pickles. Where did it go? Because I bought it for the fridge to use. I know we have two now, and it's just sitting in the basement not being used. That's not what I got it for. Yeah, I'm getting the. The smaller jar of pickles. Oh. Because I'm sitting next to that. Because those are big pickles. I can have one day. I want. Nobody else has to take you to Tucson. I feel like they would like pickle flavored ice cream. May. May, why do I feel like you would like pickle pickle flavored ice cream? I don't know. Okay. I'm dipping the in my eyes. I can, oh, I can do anything. Anything pickle on the Oreos? Anything pickle on the Oreos? Anything pickle on the Oreos? What you want? Really? Yeah, because nothing else tastes like pickle. I got an idea. Look. Nice yeah. And then it's like Dip it and lick it. Come on, how about this? The Oreos crushed up can be my my um yeah. No, the crushed up Oreos can be the ones on 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 the on the frosting. I like that. How you like that? That can be cool. Oh, good. I'm sorry, how do you want it? Uh, the audio can be decoration. Nasty. Uh, well, sweetie, um, you're gonna be eating them, so. Ah, look at this guy. <laughs> I love when they do that. Nasty, nice come on, Jay. How do you do it? Don't drop it up. Oh, oh, Sorry, excuse me. It's fine, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, just push it up like I know, I'm getting there. Um, I pushed it. Hold on, whoa, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, use it back.
If you say so. You should try it, Julia. Hold on, Bill. Hold on. Hold on. Can we go outside? No. Can I go to over there? No, it's pitch black. No, not outside. Oh, oh. Yeah, hold on. Let me use two and then. Take it. Why are you using a knife? Because my handle is useful to us as well. Why is it coming brown? What is this? Is it be turning into gray? Well, it's not black. Dad? My color in Girl Tag, there's three red, three green, and two blue, which makes which makes like a sewer green color. Two boob. Everybody always calls it like black or gray. Okay. All right, so the, now you can dunk your ice cream in here. It can be good. Do you want the rest of the bacon sandwich for lunch tomorrow? Oh, cool. Yeah.
I don't know where he is.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> again tomorrow? No, you just wore it this evening. Why? Because, I don't know. It's not like I... I it's like, no, 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 you wear it. No, 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 no. Like, I just, I just folded it and put it, or I hung it up on the table. Which is the way that's long ago. Daisy! Daisy, quick. Like, for... <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I was just It on for himself to be like, oh, that's right, I was diagnosed. Feels sorry for myself. Man, yeah, I've definitely had this picture, this ultrasound picture done. I never dreamed of, like, I never thought about showing it to me. I, I, I don't know, I just never thought about the two worlds crossing. That's so funny. And so it's, just, it's so cool yeah. to have her see it. I love that picture. It's my favorite ultrasound picture ever. I like to bring those water bottles.
点啊。No. 
Who's doing great? Um, I am on I on a
but oh my goodness. You need a shot. You need a shot. You need a shot. All right. Keister. Uh. You're funny, brother, brother. You're too funny. Thank 
Oh, May. 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 Hey, can you ask May to, to go to the Yeah, where's she? Uh, she watched it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, please. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a couple things. Uh, I wanted to mention to you. You understand. What Bella? Oh, Bella, I don't like your spinny game with Fanta Soda. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What? She's burping into her soda can. Don't spin while you drink soda, sweet. <laughs> Oh, darn it. I wish that was in the kitchen or something. It would be fearless. Myra? No. Robin. Who are we missing? There's Remy, there's Daisy. Bella, no. Stop.
Oh, are you ready for bed? Uh, I don't know. Do you have your pajamas on? Yes. Don't put on your jammers. <laughs> put on your jammies, Bella. So I think we did fix the uh, cord issue with the band-aid. Cord issue? We've got a lot of dogs using the tray. A lot more dogs use the tray than I thought. The cord issue for the... Oh, oh, for the... Yeah. yeah. But we've got a lot of piddle spots in the tray than, like, a lot more than normal. I wonder if that means... Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. I wonder if that means that... Um, Bella? Bella, what's going on? Yeah, it was just 6.15 last time I was at the clock. In pajamas. Yes. No, you don't get the carrot, only the slices. I also bought some wall spackle to fix the holes that are in the, uh, yeah. in the walls. Annabella. Nah, time to head to your room, baby. Oh, I'm getting your snack right now. Dogs are helping.
Oh, sorry. Oh. 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 Doggies, you want some carrot? Some more carrot? Paris, you've got some in your ears. Guys, there's some still down there. Daisy gets some too. My hands are off the light. Oh, thank you. You didn't see what happened. Yeah. This flashlight. It does. I found that flashlight. Can I have it? Can I have it? Yeah, you can use that one to charge up your little animal. Yeah, I'll let it sit for a while. Are we here? Hey Bella, I have a carrot and a fruit roll. Up. What else do you want? Move around. Yeah, yes. Annabella. What? I have a carrot and a fruit roll up. Is there anything else you want for your snack? Um, beef stick. Beef stick. Got it. That is It just takes a big one. Uh, no, it takes one big battery. I don't know what kind of battery it is. Oh, it's maybe. the black battery. Is oh, Pandora weird. still outside? Pandora still outside. What's up? Is Pandora still outside? Yes. Because May's all worried about it. Ah, it's so yeah. Ah, it's so yeah. May, she's still outside. Ah, it's so May? Ah, it's so yeah. ah, it's so yeah. Ella, chill. Did Meg, did maybe, did Meg have... She me and was like, I can't see my hand or wrong. Looks like she was freaking out. Okay, hold it all around. May! <laughs> Mom, go see his glowing. <laughs>
Gotta wait, Vienna. They found her. I know.
Paris, I'm gonna go upstairs. Paris, come here. Paris, why is the angle so different? Why is the angle so different? 
I don't know. I was asking. Like, yeah, why is it so much more wide? Why can you see everything? Um, that's just because of how it's like all little things combined. Let me back it up. Usually pushed forward a lot more. Um, do you have any recommendations for for the board shops? Okay, my dad asked if I wanted a new brain dessert or a cookie that my mom made. Is this there? Oh, and I decided. The, 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 the build your own ice cream thing. Oh, uh, the frozen yogurt one? Yeah. Doesn't frozen yogurt taste like yogurt? What's the difference? It's healthier. My dad would probably like that. <laughs> Hello, dudes.
Olaf. Anna, do you want Bella?
So I'm not just weak.
Why are you eating pickles? I love you, Dot.
Thank <laughs> you.